What up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> I got a few pickups within the past couple days. Um, as you can see right there, I got a full-size green Oregon Duck helmet. Um, not, It's not that one. I got another one. And then my one over there. Those two, this green one and that black one, those are uh, this past season's team, the team that won the Fiesta Bowl. But this one is the 09 Oregon Duck team uh, that lost the Rose Bowl to Ohio State. Um, it's not the entire team. It's quite a bit of the stars and a few, you know, the lesser known players. But uh, it was on Craigslist for dirt cheap, 100 bucks. The full size green helmet alone is a hundred bucks, not signed. So, um, you can start. There's Casey Matthews right there. Um, Ed Dixon. He used a a yellow paint pen, which I'm not the biggest fan of paint paint pens on helmets. They they smudge, and it's kind of hard for the athletes to sign them. Um, there's Jeremiah Masoli. Um, Jeff Mail, the Jeff, the L and Mail got smudged. Number sixty nine, both ran. Um, who else we got? Uh, you got Jackson Rice, forty nine. DJ Davis. Um, Chad Peppers. Um, Kenny Rowe, and then uh, Marvin Johnson. LaMichael. Uh, I think that might be it for like the stars. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Um, I was fully, when I saw this on Craigslist, I was fully expecting the guy not to be the brightest. Um, you know, person, just because why, why sell a helmet that costs a hundred dollars for a hundred dollars when you have some pretty big stars on there? But hey, he's he was a booster or is a booster for <clears throat> the University of Oregon. Knew his shit. He had lots of other stuff. So I'm not gonna hate on him too much. He's a great dude. Um, and then I'll get into. I did a trade with uh, Blazer Guy Zero. Um, he was a nice kid. Uh, he, if you guys don't know him, um, he collects Portland Trailblazer stuff, uh, and he, and he PCs, um, Wes Matthews, and I went to a Wes Matthews signing, and I got, uh, three 8x10 signed, and two of them were the exact same, so I made a trade with them, um, so, it was more, more to help him out, uh, we just traded cards, because that's what he mostly collects. So he gave me a uh, <clears throat> glass cleaners of DeMarcus Cousins signed, uh, and it's it's numbered uh, <clears throat> it's numbered fifteen out of ninety nine, which is his number. So that's pretty cool. And then an on card um, Nate Robinson. Uh, not really a Nate Robinson fan, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys want any of those or anything, trade or buy them, I could care less, uh, hit me up. And then he threw in some extras. I'll be keeping this one. It's not signed or anything, just Vince Carter. Uh, he's my favorite basketball player of all time. And then the all-star team. And then Glenn Big Baby Davis, which I hate. I <laughs> He is a big baby. And not because he looks young. <clears throat> but it was nice of him to send in extras. Um, shout out to Blazer Guy Zero. Give him a sub. Um, and then for my 8x10 pickups, I got four today. They just came in the mail today, and I'm expecting uh, two Michael Vick 8x10s um, in the mail probably middle of next week. And then I picked up a pretty nice um, Mammoth patch of Michael James for the, for the 49ers so I'll do a video once I get that so my first one <clears throat> Jeff Mail 8x10 uh, against uh, UCLA in 09 I have his gloves right there that he's wearing 
So that's pretty cool. And then same game, but that's old. And then... getting hard to remember all my stuff. All right, here we go. Here's one. Um, Darren Thomas against uh, Oregon State in 2011. PSA. Man, pretty nice. Darren has one of the crappier signatures. <clears throat> I was actually talk talking today with one of my buddies about how how different players – um, change their signatures from, you know, their freshman year to their senior year. Like uh Lamichael James for instance. Uh, I'll show I'll show you the different variations of Lamichael's after I'm done showing these other two pictures. <clears throat> and then the last two um I did a Barner hookup. So Barner in the 2012 Civil War and then Barner in the Fiesta Bowl. But yeah, so we'll go to a lot of a lot of players don't like just for instance Jeff Mail. He his signature's pretty much been the same his entire career. But oh, right to it. So that's little Michael. Um, this was his redshirt freshman year, oh nine, LMJ. But he kind of went. He kind of went reverse. They usually start out nice. And then once they get, you know, big and, like, popular, uh, they get sloppier and just easier so they can just bang them out. Like, um, D'Anthony's like that. His signature's gotten pretty bad. But, and then I'll show you. He, um, Michael went through three different ones. He did the LMJ-21, and then he did... <clears throat> This one, just LJ21. And then I don't have um, his third one, I don't think. And it's, and then this is the one that he does now in the pros. It's L James, and then either 21 or 23. <clears throat> but yeah, he, my buddy was saying how um, the Remini Alston uh, 8x10 he has is just a um uh R um R A J for Reverend Austin Jr. And then I told him, Oh that sucks. I got a I got a full one right there. But yeah, that's about it. For my pickups and then I'll be making some um uh, a video next week. Um hit me up if any of you guys want uh these two cards. I know, Jay, you might want this one. You're a big DeMarcus fan. I'm pretty sure that's the jersey you actually have. But, yeah. I'll, uh, let me know what you think. There's my cat.